Look, I'm not against vaccinations. Both my children have been fully vaccinated, and when travelling overseas, I make sure to get all my shots. But I can promise you this, I'm not going to be rolling up my sleeve to get a COVID-19 vaccine that's been rushed to market. The shots that my children and I have received over the years have been thoroughly tested over many years, even decades. We've had plenty of time to observe any potential negative effects. When it comes to coronavirus, however, there are currently about 160 vaccines in development. There seems to be a bit of a race to see who can get it out first. This could be for the prestige that it would bring, or the satisfaction of helping society. Or if you're a little bit more cynical like I am, they're doing it for the money. Whichever pharmaceutical company gets there first will make a bucket load of money. Governments around the world will be forking out billions of dollars to buy the vaccine in the hope of fixing their broken economies. But this relies on two things. One, the vaccine works, that is, it prevents coronavirus, and two, people are willing to take it. Personally, I don't want some rushed medication being injected into my arm. However, due to the nature and media portrayal of coronavirus, I'm sure there will be literally millions of people in Australia and across the globe who are happy to rush out, roll up their sleeves, and get the new vaccine. I'm just not going to be one of them. If millions of people are voluntarily getting vaccinated, then we'll learn quick smart if there are any problems with the vaccine that weren't identified during clinical trials. Personally, I'd wait at least a year. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but I certainly won't be rushing out and forcing my children to get a vaccine that has been rushed through the development process. In 2003, a SARS vaccine was developed by scientists which they ended up abandoning. This was due to a small group of vaccinated animals becoming sicker when they were infected with the SARS virus than unvaccinated animals. Specifically, it caused inflammation in the lungs. Luckily, the SARS virus just mysteriously died out before a vaccine was actually needed. Of course, there have been a whole host of other vaccine failures. Here's some information from the United States Federal Agency, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC. In 1955, some batches of polio vaccine given to the public contained live polio virus, with at least 250 cases of polio being caused by the vaccine. From 1955 to 1963, an estimated 10 to 30% of polio vaccines administered in the US were contaminated with simian virus 40. In 1976, there was a small increased risk of a serious neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre Guillain syndrome, a rare disorder in which your body's immune system attacks your nerves following vaccination with a swine flu vaccine. In 1998, a rotavirus vaccine called Rotor shield was found to cause intussusception, a rare type of bowel obstruction that occurs when the bowel folds in on itself after being vaccinated. Ultimately, the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices withdrew its recommendation to vaccinate infants with Rotor shield vaccine, and the manufacturer voluntarily withdrew it from the market in 1999. Anyway, that's just some of the vaccine disasters that have happened throughout history. As I said, this information is not from some conspiracy-laden website, it's from the American government's CDC. Back here in Australia, as I said, I won't be rushing out to get a vaccine that hasn't been thoroughly tested, but depending on how the politics play out, I may not have an option. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison initially implied that vaccinations would be mandatory, but now the federal government are saying that they won't force vaccinations on any Australian. Unfortunately, the Australian government have a history of no jab, no pay policies. Essentially, that means that anybody receiving government welfare will be required to get the coronavirus vaccine. If they don't get it, they won't receive their welfare check. Thanks to the coronavirus lockdown restrictions, a record number of Australians are now relying on welfare just to make it through the week. Although the government said the vaccine won't be mandatory, it kind of will be mandatory in that you'll be coerced into taking it. It's more of a game of semantics than anything else. There's also the potential for no jab, no play. Essentially, this means that children may not be allowed to enrol or attend kindergarten or school without first being vaccinated against coronavirus. It's a real concern that the government will coerce people into taking this vaccine, even if it's been rushed through. As I said, I'm not against vaccination. I just don't want to be a human guinea pig in some kind of rushed global coronavirus vaccination trial. No, thank you. Mm -hmm.